All right, so this video is just going to be a rather quick one, solely because we're going to be covering BL Heli 32. Now, to those of you that are newer to the hobby, BL Heli 32 is essentially a software for your ESC. I plan to go over the current settings that I like to run, along with helping you decide which ones would be best for your setup, and showing you how to update it if it happens to not be on the latest release. So yeah, with that being said, let's get into it. All right, so first off, you're going to want to go over to your browser and come to this link right here. I'll leave it in the description. Uh, for my case, I have Windows, so I would click this link. Now that you have it extracted, the file should read out BL Heli C32. Just click that, and then you're going to launch it from here. Now the next crucial step is that you're going to plug your battery into your quad first. And when working with BL Heli especially, take your props off. There's been instances of people updating it or messing with settings and the motor spinning up to a full 100%. Like, you don't want that with props on. Like I said before, plug in your battery first. And then once your quad is booted up, then plug it into the computer. Now you gotta press this connect button, let it do its thing. And then once that's done, click read setup. And it looks like our quad is good, of course. Now first off, make sure you're on release 32.9. At the time of this upload, this is the latest release, but if you're on something that's 32.7, 32.8 for instance, you're gonna come over here to ESC Flash. You gotta select this drop down right here, select 32.9, and it should switch all of these, or you have to manually do it, I can't remember. And then you click Flash ESC. Now at this point, do not unplug your quad. Make sure the battery at least has some charge in it. Even though I'm on the latest release, I'm gonna update it again just to show you what it's like. So you're gonna come over here and click the Flash Selected ESC. And it's gonna take its sweet time updating each individual ESC. Now that that's done, simply disconnect your quad. It's going to give you a little warning saying to restart your ESC. Click OK. Now, unplug your battery and unplug your quad from your computer. Go back to ESC setup. Now, plug your battery back in. Let your quad boot up and then plug it back into the computer. And same concept as before, select the connect button. All right, so now we have all these settings. I'm just gonna go over this real quickly. I leave ramp up power at default 50%. I know you can drop it down to 30 and supposedly the quad flies the same, but at 50%, I have no desync, so perfectly fine with me. Um, all these settings are perfectly fine. Motor direction, we can adjust this in beta flight. This just means reverse or God, whatever these settings mean, but just leave that at normal normal motor timing now i know a lot of people say 16 degrees is best or 23 is best um they each have their pros and cons honestly i just leave this at auto and it's perfectly fine uh default 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 uh minimum throttle i like to drop this down to 10 10 and then maximum throttle will bring this up to 1990 and that's good that's good that's good now we have pwm frequency so essentially the lower this value is the more torque your motors have. Yet having a higher PWM frequency is more efficient with higher throttle inputs, but you lose out on that torque. Just think of it as in like gearing ratios for your car. 24 kilohertz can be associated with being in first gear all the time, yet 48 kilohertz, for example, can correlate with being in third gear. Now, with BO Heli 32.9, we're introduced to a new feature called Buy RPM. What by RPM does is dynamically shift the values between 24 and your ESC's maximum value, which in my case would be 128, based on your throttle inputs to give you the best of both worlds being torque and efficiency. But in my experience, this hasn't been reliable. This might start up some controversy, but every freaking time I set this to by RPM, my ESCs go out in like a week or two or in the longest I've seen one go with by RPM is like a month. So I haven't been running this feature just because of that issue. So I set these to 24 kilohertz because I'm not looking for efficiency. I'm just looking for torque and maximum performance. Now, a lot of people also run 48 kilohertz. This is kind of just a balance between efficiency and torque. And I would highly recommend not messing with by RPM feature unless you're fully confident in what you're doing and you know your ESC will be perfectly fine. So yeah, I'm just recommending two different options, either having a set point at 24 kilohertz or at a set point of 48 kilohertz. 24 kilohertz being for the maximum torque and 48 kilohertz being for maximum all around performance. It's honestly just up to you to decide on that. There's pros and cons to each of them. 
and I can't really say that one is better than the other. It's just like a best use case scenario. So yeah, now that you have all your settings implemented, simply just click right setup and you're good to go. Just press disconnect and that's basically it. So yeah, as always, I just wanted to thank you for sticking to the end. If you had feedback, just let me know in the comments. I'm always open to have a discussion with you, whether you agree or disagree. It's all what this community is about at the end of the day, so. But yeah, I know I said it before, I'll say it again. Just thank you for watching. You guys have a good one.